Out of Chesterfield, where police hosted a private viewing of the body camera footage from an officer involved shooting. Charles Beyer died in that July 2023 shooting. According to his family's attorney, he was having a mental crisis at the time. Chantel Davis was there to see the footage and has more on what it reveals. She, she made the determination that the shooting was justifiable. Um, I don't necessarily agree. Chesterfield's Commonwealth attorney cleared the two officers involved in the July 2023 shooting of Charles Byers. According to the Chesterfield County Police Department, it's their policy to not release body camera footage to the public. But they did host a private viewing of that footage. I made my way to the Chesterfield Police Headquarters to get a first-hand look at what happened the day Byers died. In that meeting, I heard the initial 911 call. A woman described someone trying to break into her home. But he then apologized, saying he thought it was his family's home and then asked for water. Police was then called out to Wycliffe Court, where they found Byers coming from a different neighbor's garage with a hatchet. He was wandering around. He probably did not even know what he was doing except to the point when he found that hatchet. Officers approached Byers with guns drawn, commanding him to put down the hatchet. Byers did not listen to officers' commands. Instead, he walked backwards down the street with the hatchet clenched in his hand. Officers moved towards him, commanding him nearly 15 times to put down the hatchet. Byers is then tased. However, when that didn't work, shots rang out, and according to police, Byers was shot five times. But in this particular case, when you are holding a deadly weapon, not only is it uh, a, a very dangerous thing, but it's, it's apt to end your own life because if you force a police officer to defend themselves, they, they will do that. Two officers from the county's training division say the police did everything right. They say the responding officers had a duty to protect the public and themselves, saying because buyers ignore commands to put down the hatchet, did not respond to the taser, and had what they believed to be an aggressive posture, that gave them cause to use deadly force to de-escalate the situation. From, from, even from an objective standpoint, he was a danger to the police officers. I don't, I don't think anyone who views the video could say that. So under those circumstances, why wouldn't the Commonwealth's attorney simply allow um, a grand jury to make that decision? Byers' family attorney also wants me to note that the family does not want the police prosecuted for this case. Chantel Davis, 12 on your side.